Blessings to you, family. Welcome back. I, uh, it's Sunday, no, Saturday evening, February 4th, uh, 2023, as I record this. And I'm sitting on the stairwell here, so hopefully nobody comes and interrupts this. But uh, this is just on my heart and on my mind, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. So um, I had a dream probably about a week or two ago, and in this dream, I was visiting a friend of ours, their wife, and her name is Natalie for reference. So that's going to be important for you to remember. So as I'm visiting her, then I noticed that she has what I think is a pretty newborn baby, probably looks to be maybe three or four months old. And I'm kind of caring for the baby as she's on the phone, uh, busy with a conversation. Well, as she kind of motions for me that it's okay for me to pick the baby up, then as I put it back down, as she ends her conversation, then I notice there's another baby there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so close in age. And when I put the first baby down, to my surprise, the second baby is actually even a little bit bigger, but only by a few months. So what I notice is she has two babies that are really, really close in age. And I just think, oh my gosh, this is really hard. I know what it's like to have two kids that are only three years apart. So I can't imagine having, having two babies that are you know, only a few months apart. And so me and her chat for a bit and basically I end up uh, realizing, you know, like I have to leave pretty quickly, the visit is short. And, but this was the thing. So I end up preparing to leave. But as I do, then I think, man, this is really hard for her. But I have this awareness that she's not actually in that situation anymore. It's as if God is allowing her to remember when she was in that situation and how she came through, how she came out of it, how the Lord, um, you know, really just helped her through that season. And so that was the end of the dream. So as I woke up from it, now I've had this person named Natalie and my dreams before, and they and she's meant different things in different dreams. But this time, maybe after a few days and having the dream, then I looked up, what does the name Natalie mean? And it means birth of the Lord. And so God was saying several things. First thing I knew almost immediately when I woke up from the dream, that God was saying that there have been seasons that God has literally seen you through. When you didn't know how you were gonna make it, something was very difficult in your life, but yet you made it through. And God was saying that he will see you through again, whatever situation that you're currently in. The second thing was once I looked up the meaning of that name, birth of the Lord, there are things that you are currently pregnant with, that you are preparing to birth, and some of them are even really close together. The birth of them will be, you know, really um, close. So there, there will be one and then the next, okay? Now, many of you know, if you're, if you're familiar with this ministry, we've talked about this many times, and even the birthing room right here, that God is, he's preparing you. He's teaching you how to die to yourself. He's teaching you how to really birth these promises in your life. So some of you are at that stage currently. And although it's a blessing, it may look and feel really tough. You know, this is what we have to remember. A lot of times when God answers our prayers, sometimes the waiting is as long as it is because the preparation really is necessary for the level of blessing that's coming your way. So as these promises come to pass in your life, you may realize that you really did need all that waiting time to help you prepare for the magnitude, for the task that's at hand, for the responsibilities that you now will hold. So as you're in the season of birthing, and even if you're in the season where it can feel really difficult, think back on how God brought you through before. I want you to read Isaiah 41 chapter uh, 41 verse 10 and it says remember how the Lord brought you through 
that he made sure that you were victorious with his victorious right hand. Don't be afraid and don't be fearful. God has got you. So remember that right now during this time, during this season. And I just felt led to share that entire dream with you because there may be some more key components in it for you, for you. It may not be for anybody else, but there may be something in that that stuck out for you. So take that to heart. Take this word to the Lord. There may be more that he desires to speak to you in your own prayer time. Make sure that you're doing that, that you're spending time with the Lord for yourself, that you're growing in the things of God, that you're open to his voice, and that you're obedient to what it is that he's speaking to you. All right, family. Well, I love you guys. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.